a new custom rom is out for the moto g 5g or motorola one 5g s and it is called lmo droid or the libre mobile os you can see it is on the july patch and it's an official rom from the same developer of havoc and lineage so this rom is based on android 12 and on lineage os we can see our daily data usage right under the quick toggles so that's a helpful add-on and Volti and Wofa is working without any issues in the settings you can see the design is quite different from other custom ROMs I kind of like this new settings design so after installing I would suggest you to go to the developer options and then find the animation options and change it to 0.5 this would make the experience much better as I've noticed on custom ROMs the fingerprint animation is kind of slow but uh, after doing this everything will feel quite snappy and it does not uh, hinder on any kind of experience so I suggest you do that and also disable this window blur options otherwise you will feel lags and jitters all around and we do see the option of advanced restart option and coming to the settings for customizations these are similar to that of lineage os and we can enable the different uh, status bar icons and clock and set seconds so these are very basic options so we do not see any deep customizations we have some options for buttons so we can enable the power menu and the advanced restart and assign different functions to power button and the volume buttons and we do see the OT updates so it has a dedicated uh, recovery as well and we have the moto gestures and the chop chop and uh, the twist everything works so that is a must for all the moto roms and this navigation here should hide but it's not working and uh, so maybe it will get fixed in the next update but that's not a big deal we also have the swipe to screenshot which is a really easy way to take screenshots and uh, every rom should have it and we also see a very good feature called the pocket detection so your phone won't unlock while it's in a bag or on your in your pocket and we also have double tap to sleep and double tap to wake up so all the basic options are here that i uh, really need so i do not have any complaints the wallpaper and style option is really basic we don't see any icon options and the browser here is quite functional so previously on lineage 18 the browser was kind of useless for me at least um, but right now is quite useful and have a lot of customization options and some cool animations as well and it's quite smooth too so it's quite it's a very functional and can be used so i'm using phone pay and uh, the safety net is passing but it does not do that by default so you can see I have made some tweaks and it's now passing so you need to uh, like install Majisk then you can pass the safety net so do wa keep watching the video uh, at last I will tell you how you can pass the safety net and it will also work on your lineage 18 or 19 as well coming to battery backup I have to say it has one of the best uh, battery backups among the custom roms so just 10 percent down from 95 and i'm already getting two hours of screen on time so you can easily get eight to nine hours of screen on time so it's quite good and i'm really impressed with it and in the quick toggles we also see option of vpn tethering so i'm assuming you can use the vpn uh, for other devices as well so we get the Motorola camera inbuilt and uh, like all the newer updates for our device is getting it 
and it's a good thing because we no longer are dependent on G cams and uh, all the three lenses are working without any issues in the photo mode as well as in video mode so like lineage os it comes pre-installed with a gallery and a music player and i've noticed the music player design is very clean and uh, quite intuitive so we see the album art and all of it is really uh, suiting the material you design so i thought of mentioning it because it's quite good that um, some custom rooms are still shipping out with a music player even though in this era of streaming music now to pass the safety net first of all you can see um, it is showing that the there is some kind of issue so we have to flash Majisk and then we need to install these two modules now open the Termux terminal app and type su and then grant the root permission now we need to type props it's going to download and then show some options so on this screen we will select the first option which is the edit the device fingerprint and here we will select the again the first option and in this device list we need to select uh, google which is the seven number now we need to select a model so i will select the google pixel 6 so make sure it is android 12 so google pixel 6 is number 28 then hit enter and now here we need to type yes to edit the fingerprint so just type y And finally we need to just reboot our device and then you can check that safety net is passing so to install the LMO droid we first need to flash the recovery from the fastboot commands then uh, download the official ROM and uh, copy it to the memory card then select it and flash it so first we will flash the partition zip if I already flashed it, there is no need, but uh, I always do flash the partition zip just in case. And after it is done, we can then flash the ROM file. And now we need to reboot back to recovery. now we can flash the g apps so choose the nick g apps 12.1 and if you see some verification error just continue with the process and finally we will flash the magisk file which is kind of a requirement if you want to pass the safety net so choose the latest version now we need to format our data so factory reset and format data so just now simply reboot your system so that was it for this video i hope you find this video useful so do hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one